What's up, New York State Health Educators? Um, this is New York State President for Health Education, Charlie Rizzuto, um, bringing you a brief message. There's a few things that I wanted to put on your radar um, with the conference coming up. And um, one other thing that I wanted to put on your radar um, in regards to an initiative that I'm going to try and have all of us kind of collaborate on or uh, push out together in one way or another. So first, in regards to the conference, I wanna thank everybody for your support and your input and your feedback in regards to um, the health education ed camp that we're going to be running uh, this year at the New York State Aford Conference. It's gonna be on Thursday. Um, there's gonna be more information coming out in regards to the ed camp specifically in some future videos that I'm gonna push out. But for this one, I just wanted to let you know that, that it's going and I appreciate your support. I appreciate even more than your support, uh, your feedback, because all of that was taken into consideration um, when we framed what the ed camp was going to look like. Like I said, it's gonna be Thursday um, and I'm just really excited to get all of us together to brainstorm, collaborate and, and grow together. But again, more information on that uh, will be forthcoming. I spoke to uh, Jeremy Thode. I don't know how many of you um, are familiar with Jeremy. He's um, he's from Long Island and he started a really, really great program called You Will Not Walk Alone. I don't want to give too much of it out, um, but he has agreed uh, to come to our business meeting, which is going to be right before the brainstorm portion of the ed camp to share a little bit more about his program and the su success that he's had with it um, here on Long Island. So I'm really excited to have Jeremy uh, at our business meeting. Um, in addition to that, obviously, like always, we have some amazing uh, presenters from inside New York State that are going to be presenting at the conference. Um, we have some new presenters who I'm really excited um, to see their sessions and to have them on the program this year. And we have some people obviously coming in from out of state. So there's two people from out of state that I want to highlight. One is Jessica Matheson, who is just National Health Education Teacher of the Year. And the other one is Mary Connolly. Um, who was just inducted into the Shape America Hall of Fame. Uh, Mary's written a bunch of books. I'm sure you know uh, Mary's name, and I'm sure you know Jessica's name as well. Jessica is all over social media right now, pushing out a lot of really great things. She just started the health education question of the day on Twitter. Um, so if you haven't checked that out, please do so. But between now and the conference, um, I'm going to push out videos again, just promoting different things and filling you in on some things that are going on. Um, but I'm going to have Jessica um, on one video with me to talk about her sessions a little bit. Um, and Mary on another video with me to talk about her sessions a little bit so you could get to know these two people from out of state um, that are coming in to do, I believe, three sessions each. Um, and then myself and Jessica um, and Mary and Rachel and some people from inside New York State, Kristen McGurl, um, are going to be doing a session together uh, at the conference as well. So you, there's going to be a lot of Jessica, a lot of Mary, and obviously a ton of people from inside our state um, presenting at the conference this year. The last thing that I wanted to put you that I wanted to put on your radar is um, the initiative that I'm that I'm going to be kicking off shortly, um, obviously with the help and support from uh, from New York State Aford. So I, I never um, ask for or promote or try to get followers on social media. Right. That's not what it's about. Social media is about sharing and growing. And if people follow you, great. If they don't, great. The people who you choose to follow. Awesome. Hashtags, et cetera. Um, I don't use Instagram all that often, right? I have an Instagram account. I'm going to give you the account name in a second. Um, but as a lot of you know, uh, we don't have a health education associate um, at the state level, right? The New York State Education Department. And that has, um, and I guess in my opinion, but I'm sure a lot of you would share this sentiment, put health education in this state kind of behind the eight ball in a lot of ways, right? We haven't had new standards since 1996, guidance document revisions, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. And we've advocated as a state um, for this health education associate in the past. We just did so recently um, when the new budget uh, budget was being pushed forth and nothing has really happened. We've done a lot of work on our end as an association, um, but we haven't been able to get this associate. Um, I spoke to Colleen um, at New York State Aford and um, told her that I wanted to start to push out some information in regards to how a health education associate uh, could support health educators all across the state, um, advocate for the importance of health education and things of that nature. So I think Instagram is the best platform to start this work. So I feel weird saying this, um, but I'm going to ask all of you to please follow me on Instagram. And then when those videos and those messages start to get pushed out, um, if you support them, which I think you will, um, to share them and, and jump on board and help to spread awareness and to advocate for health education for the children, the students that take health education classes, 
for health education teachers and for the health education associate at the state level um, to kind of come to fruition, right? So again, Instagram, it's Rizzuto underscore um, education. So if you follow that, um, anytime I push out a message in regards to advocating for the health education associate, um, you'll have access to it. And then you can share it, you can comment on it, you can do whatever you want to do with it. Um, I'm just kind of asking for your support in this little initiative um, and to get involved in any way possible. Also, um, I'm asking you to email me thoughts, ideas um, that you might have to help us do this work together, right? I don't want it to just be me pushing out some messages on an Instagram account that only a hundred and some people follow right now. Um, I want to do this together, right? Like everything, we should do it together. So you could email me, uh, charlesrizzuto3 at gmail.com. Uh, Rizzuto education at gmail.com. Either one of those email addresses is fine. Um, if you want to get involved in some way, um, if, um, if you have some ideas, right, some talking points, um, ways that I might want to frame some of the messages that I push out on Instagram, anything and everything is welcome. All right. So looks out for some videos that I'm going to push out to everybody um, in terms of what's coming up at the conference, health education, um, some presenters that we're going to be having, things of that nature. And if you get a chance, if you're on Instagram, uh, follow me on Instagram, Rizzuto underscore education, um, and just look for any advocacy work that may be coming out through that account in relation to a health education associate. All right. Hope everyone's doing well. And as always, if you need anything, um, feel free to reach out.